The movie opens up with a man named, John Rambo, a Vietnam War veteran who is now trying to hide from the police. Shortly a police helicopter arrives to his hideout. Art Galt, a chief deputy sheriff tries to shoot John despite the risky position he is in. With no options left John jumps from the cliff, to a nearby tree. Though alive John is severely wounded, but Galt still pursues him. Moments earlier before John Rambo got himself here. John Rambo is a former member of the United States Army Special Forces Green Beret Unit, and was awarded the Medal of Honor for his service in the Vietnam War. The film begins after the war, in America in December of 1981. Seven barren years after his discharge, the disoriented veteran is hitchhiking from town to town to see friends from the war, on his way to meet an old brother in arms, in a small town in Washington called Hope. He meets a woman who informs him that his friend had died of cancer, brought on by exposure to Agent Orange during the war. Agent Orange is a chemical herbicide used to burn tree leaves. The militaries use it to burn a large area of jungles that provide cover, shelter and food to their enemies. The chemical contained in Agent Orange can have a half-life of up to 20 years. Now distraught and left with no place to go, he gives her the only picture they shared together while in the army. Rambo decides to hitchhike his way to Portland, Oregon. He walks up to the small town of Hope, Washington on foot. With his long hair and military-style coat, he is quickly spotted by the town's overzealous and paranoid sheriff, Will Teasel. The sheriff takes an instant dislike of Rambo mocking his unkempt hair, army jacket, and his messy appearance. He then offers to give him a ride, Rambo asks if there is a place to eat and Teasel tells him that he will have to walk 30 miles up the highway. Since he doesn't want drifters eating in his town, because they might attract other drifters, Teasel drives him to the city limits and advises him to get a haircut and a bath. Since Rambo was hungry and would like to grab something to eat, he decides to walk back towards the town. Teasel sees him coming back and angrily drives back to arrest Rambo. He runs searches him and then charges Rambo of vagrancy, resisting arrest, and possessing a concealed knife before bringing him to the police station. He then leaves him to his sadistic deputy sheriff, Galt, and tells him to clean Rambo since he smells like an animal. Galt then escorts him to the cells, where he attempts to get Rambo's name. Rambo knows he is innocent, and refuses to speak. Mitch, one of Galt's deputies, sees Rambo's dog tags and tries to read them, but Rambo instinctively grabs Rusty's wrist. Galt pulls his nightstick and threatens to break Rambo's face. Rambo lets go and Galt notes that Mr. Harry is a soldier, but this does not change his opinion of Rambo and he proceeds to brutalize and assault him, beating him repeatedly. Galt then has Rambo bathe for his court date by spraying him with a high-pressure fire hose. When Galt and two other reluctant officers, Ward and Mitch, attempt to dry shave him with a straight razor, this triggers flashbacks of Rambo being tortured in a North Vietnamese prisoner of war camp in 1965, and loses control, escaping on instinct using his military training. He fights his way out of the station beating up most of the officers, breaking one's nose and throwing another out of a window. Rambo retrieves his knife and runs into the streets, throwing a civilian off a motorcycle and stealing it. He is then pursued by Teasel as he goes off-road into the nearby mountains. The deputies are eventually forced to search for Rambo on foot, and he climbs down onto a steep cliff to elude capture. After spotting Rambo from a helicopter, Galt blatantly disregards protocol and attempts to shoot him dead in cold blood with a Winchester Model 88 lever-action rifle. Rambo drops into a mass of trees, injuring his right arm in the process. With Galt still pursuing Rambo and cornering him, Rambo throws a large rock at the helicopter's windshield in self-defense to buy him some time. However, the helicopter briefly loses control and Galt, who had unbuckled his safety belt in order to get a better shot, falls out of the aircraft to his death at the bottom of the rocky gorge. Immediately Rambo goes to Galt's lifeless body and takes his gun. He contemplates taking his jacket, but since he did not want to be blamed for his death, he leaves it with him. Rambo stitches his arm, then comes before Teasel and his men trying to persuade them. That Galt's death was an accident and that he wants no more trouble. However the officers shoot at him, forcing him to flee into the woods once more. Teasel, who did not see Galt's attempt to kill Rambo, vows to avenge his friend's death. From the walkie-talkie, Bicker informs Teals that John Rambo is a Vietnam Green Barrack, and that they should not pick a fight with him lest they trigger his violent side. He adds that John Rambo is a war hero with Congressional Medal of Honor, and that he double-checked his biography. Nonetheless, Teasel is reluctant to bring in the state police to help, even when they find out Rambo is a decorated war hero. His pride is hurt and with one of his deputies dead he makes it his mission to see capturing Rambo through. Teasel then leads his deputies into the woods in an attempt to capture Rambo. After some time the inexperienced crew send dogs after Rambo. However, the dogs did not return, 
compelling the police officers to go after him themselves. With guerrilla tactics, Rambo catches the first officer and stabs his leg leaving him down while crying for help. The other officers quickly rush to the sound's direction, where Rambo jumps on another and twists his arm. He non-lethally subdues the deputies, using improvised booby traps in his bare hands. Rambo quickly disables the small disorganized team by severely wounding them but not killing them. In the chaos, Rambo attacks Teasel from behind and holds his knife to the sheriff's throat. He tells him that he could have killed all of them all including Teasel. He then adds that in town Teasel could be the law, but out there, he is the law. He tells him not to push it or he will give him a war he will not believe. Teasel is served enough warnings, before Rambo disappears back into the woods. This seems to only fuel Teasel's anger and he assembles a base camp near the site and calls in the National Guard. Shortly we see media reporting wrong information to the public saying they don't understand how Rambo came into possession of a gun that he used to kill the deputy sheriff, forcing the Washington National Guard and the state police to come assist Teasel in his pursuit. U.S. Special Forces Colonel Sam Troutman soon arrives, taking credit for training Rambo. He tells Teals that he is even surprised to find his deputy still alive. He warns that it would be safer to let Rambo go and find him after the situation has calmed down. Confident that Rambo is hopelessly outnumbered, Teasel refuses. Troutman warns that if he sends in the National Guard, to also bring a good supply of body bags. Meanwhile Rambo hunts and kills a wild pig, then heads back to the abandoned mine carrying it. He roasts and eats the meat while listening to the walkie-talkie he took from one of the officers. Teals on the other hand dupes Troutman into contacting Rambo and try to persuade him to give himself up. Rambo recognizes Troutman but refuses to come in, condemning Teasel and his deputies for their abuse. He then informs him that his comrade had died, and that he is now the last one of the Vietnam War veterans. Troutman later learns that Teals only wanted to use him to get Rambo's location, then send the National Guard to his hideout. Rambo sees them and runs into the woods where he meets a boy who is hunting with her parents. He spares his life but the boy screams exposing Rambo to the National Guards. As they pursue him, Rambo runs back to the abandoned mine. Rambo is eventually cornered by the National Guard in the abandoned mine, and against Teasel's orders to wait for him. The inexperienced guardsmen fire a disposable M72 law rocket launcher at him, collapsing the mine and trapping him inside, assuming that Rambo is dead. That night Teals meets Troutman and explains how he really wanted to kill Rambo. Thinking that he is dead, he tells Troutman that he will never see Rambo again. However, Rambo has escaped into the tunnels of the mine. Rambo finds some old fuel and makes an improvised torch from fabric, spending his night wading through waist-deep water, and fighting off rats for several hours in the dark mine. He manages to find an exit near a highway road the next day. Rambo spots a National Guard caravan and hijacks the last passing truck. He holds his knife to the driver's throat and asks what is in the truck. The driver informs him that there is an M60 heavy machine gun in the back. Rambo pushes the driver out of the car, driving for hours and through a police roadblock until he returns to town at nightfall. There he crashes the truck into the pumps of a gas station. He then blocks the highway to anyone in pursuit by igniting the spilled fuel with a Zippo lighter. This forces Teals to announce a police emergency and that everyone should leave the streets. Now the heavily armed Rambo is in Sheriff's Town for mass destruction. While they were working on extinguishing the fire at the gas stations, Rambo destroys a sporting goods shop by igniting multiple cans of gunpowder and bullets. He then begins shooting up the businesses on Main Street in an attempt to confuse and disorient Teasel. Before making his way to the police station, Rambo shoots the transformers on the town's power lines, knocking out the power to the Main Street. Meanwhile Teals climbs up the police station building to have a clear view of the town but since the town is dark all he could do was to wait for Rambo to come for him. Soon after, Rambo enters the police station. Teasel spots Rambo through a skylight and shoots at him but misses. Rambo shoots at Teasel, through the roof with his machine gun and severely injuring him. Teasel falls through a skylight onto the floor below. Rambo steps over him prepared to kill him, and a furious and bitter Teasel eggs him on. But before he can shoot Teasel, Colonel Troutman appears and tells him that there is no hope of escaping. He warns Rambo that he will be killed if he does not surrender, reminding him that he is the last survivor of his elite unit of Green Berets. Now cornered, Rambo rages about the horrors of war before collapsing in tears and talking about his traumatic experiences. Watching his friends die in Vietnam, being unable to hold a job due to his PTSD, the cruel treatment he received from his fellow Americans when he came home, and being forgotten by the country that he sacrificed so much for. From their talk, it turns out that Sheriff represents everything that has held Rambo back since returning from the war, authority, disrespect, hatred, and being ostracized from society. By going to war with Teasel, 
He's going to war with the country that has abandoned and forgotten him. His fight with the sheriff gave him a new mission, a purpose, and ultimately a target. In the final scene after being comforted and validated by Troutman, Rambo surrenders and is taken into federal custody, while Teasel is taken to a waiting ambulance. Marking the end of this movie, subscribe for more scenes recap like this. Until next time, have a great day.